Let's go over our system IO settings together. When we're in system IO, if you click on your image up here, you'll see the settings and it takes you to the profile. We're just going to go down the left hand side here and take a look at some of these options. We're not going to go into depth on all of them, but I want to touch on the ones that you should take some time to configure before you get too far down your path. <clears throat> the first one here is profile. Um, you can put your display name. This, this says when we click the question mark, this will be displayed when you add posts or comments to a community. So really that's the only purpose of that is if you do decide to have a community, uh, it'll reflect whatever you put here. So just put your um, information in here. You can choose to be a customer type individual or company. And if you do go company, just like I did here, your only requirement is to put your company name. Uh, under account, you want to you're going to want to set your time zone and your date format. You can choose whatever you like, and your time format. Under the plan, this is basically just telling you what your plan you're on, and the options you have, and if you want to pay annually or monthly. And then one thing um, that you want to note here is that when you look at so here I'm on the startup plan, and all these different options. There's this number and a slash right here, and so that basically is a way to kind of tell you um, how much you're consuming of that. So contacts, I have six of 5,000, sales funnels, I have five of 10 that are available to me. And so as this starts to get sales funnels gets up to eight or nine, I might want to think about, okay, well, maybe at that point, I'll want to jump to the uh, webinar plan and have uh, 50 funnels at my disposal. Under payment gateways, you can choose how you want to accept payments uh, in your funnels and digital store. I have Stripe connected, uh, which I highly recommend. Stripe's got a really great interface and makes it really easy to integrate with not just system IO, but all kinds of things out there. Um, so just go ahead and click the blue button to connect whatever you have, PayPal or whatever your um, preferred method of payment is. Under subscriptions, um, it's just basically talking about um, the subscription you're on and the the date that it comes due. So that's kind of handy. I mean, you could click the uh, three buttons and click cancel. Hopefully you won't, but this is where you could do it. Under emails, I have a different video for that that I've recorded where we go into depth on how to connect your domains so that you have different sending uh, verified email addresses that you can send from. So when you send out newsletters and is, uh, and email campaigns, you can check uh, you can check one of these to be the one that it gets sent from. So be sure to check out the other video for uh, in-depth instructions on how to set that up. Courses, these are a couple things for courses that we'll go into more depth when we cover the courses section. The payments page, this is something that you'll want to, uh, you need to make decisions like don't charge uh, VAT to customers on payment pages. Make sure you set your default currency. I have US dollar. Um, and then here's another option when you're granting access to resources um, for subscriptions and payment plans. You can say grant access only after receiving the first payment because sometimes people's payment takes a little bit to go through. Or you could just say, you know what, give them uh, immediate access after the order. Don't worry about it. And then you're going to want to update the terms and conditions here. So you can see it's just got some generic information in here to start with. So company name, replace that with your company name as well. Go through this document and replace this word with your company name. Or you could even, um, so you could use this and just update it uh, and run with that. Or uh, you could also go with something like um, Get Terms, I believe it is, a website where you can pay a little bit of money and get terms and conditions and a privacy policy and that kind of thing created just for your business. And then you could copy and paste that into here. Uh, sales funnels. So this is a like a tracking code. So like a Facebook pixel uh, or something of that like that. We'll be able to pop in here. I'm not going to go into depth on that in this initial uh, walkthrough. You do, you can just leave it blank for now, but we will cover that later on in another video. Same with shipping settings. We're not going to cover that here. Affiliate program. If you uh, are an affiliate for um, for others, uh, you, or if you have an affiliate program, you can connect. Uh, you can fill out the information here. You could even connect it to a what's called a Wise account, and that way. Um, affiliates 
will get paid from that WISE account and you won't have to manually pay them. So if that's something you're into, this is definitely worth uh, setting up. Custom domains, I have another video on that as well, where we talk about the domains that you register on Namecheap or Hover or whatever your registrar is and how to connect those and integrate those with system IO so that when people punch in www.startsystem.com, they go to system.io and they see your funnel or website or blog or digital store or whatever you create there. Public API keys, this would be something that you'd want to configure um, if you have, uh, if you want to get into um, connecting uh, system IO to other platforms. We're not going to cover that here. You can just forget about that initially. And same with webhooks. Active campaign. If you use active campaign, you can connect it here. I don't. So actually, I don't know too much about this, but I do know that you can punch in your um, URL and API key and create a connection between system IO and active campaign. Same here with Google Sheets integration. You can integrate your Google account if you want and uh, integrate Google Sheets in some way. I don't think it's important for this video. Um, affiliate commissions payout, we can ignore that. Notifications, this would just be where you're going to say, hey, when this or that happens, email me or just in the app, show me uh, an alert so I can tend to it. You can also add workspace members um, known as assistants here. So in case you have somebody, a virtual assistant or somebody helping you, you could add them here. And then finally, you can set up two-factor authentication, which I don't have set up yet, but I plan to. So those are the main settings. I would say go ahead and take some time to uh, configure these um, at your leisure, but I, I wouldn't get too far down the path of creating a funnel or a digital store, or that kind of thing, without tending to these matters um, initially, because you're going to leverage some of this uh, when you're doing that. For instance, the payment pages, this here under terms and conditions, since this is at the kind of root level, um, high level of your settings, this would be something that you'll be able to leverage when you're building out your funnels and digital store. You can also create custom versions of things like terms and conditions and privacy policies and that type of thing that are custom to each funnel that you build. Um, and in that case, it wouldn't call on this one, <clears throat> this high level version. So you can make up your mind if you want to edit it here and then leverage it later, or just do one off particular ones for any particular sales funnel that you have. So that about wraps it up. Um, if you, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And if you haven't set up a System.io account yet, please use the link in my description for an affiliate link. And I appreciate it, and I hope this helps.